guys, Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with an amazing bins haul. I think I've got about 40 pieces here, and this is such a cautionary tale for all of us to just check the bins one last time before you leave. Like, I know it's not for everybody's budget, I know it's not for everybody's storage, but like, if you're feeling pulled to look one more time, just look one more time. I mean, this is a perfect case of I went just to one last bin, like one bin, one single bin, and I stumbled into a cache of vintage clothes that were amazing. I cannot wait to show you some of the pieces that I pulled. Um, I think I got four or five pieces from that little cache right there. That actually looked like a raw donation of somebody's closet. And there were definitely some pieces that were kind of damaged beyond like my ability to repair. Um, and some that were kind of like not a style that I thought would move, but I got some great pieces and I can't wait to show you. But before we get started, if you're new here, first and foremost, welcome. Uh, I am Julia, that is my name. We talk all things thrifting and vintage and reselling on the internet. If any of those things sound like something that you're into, uh, hit subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. But without further ado, guys, I've got so much to show you. So go grab a snack, go grab a drink. You know the matcha is present and almost finished. Sit back, relax, and let's get in to the goods. So we'll start as usual. If I have anything that's non-clothing, um, I'll show you those pieces first. And one of the, I, I think this is the only one I got, but it's this cute pair of Free People mules. They're Free People mules. They're like a little snake print, like embossed suede. They are a size 39, which I believe is about a, an eight and a half or a nine. They're in great shape. They've of course been worn, but they've got a lot more wear to them. They have leather soles, which I love. Free People's shoes are always like surprisingly very well made. I mean, not surprisingly, it's, it's a very expensive brand and most of their stuff is very well made, but I always love finding them and they do tend to move very quick for me. I can't say the same about any like specifically anthropology shoes, but Free People shoes for sure are a great pickup. I think these are, I think shoes are $3 a piece at this bins location, so happy to grab it. And we are pulling straight from the bag today. So guys, forgive me if anything is super wrinkled. We do this all the time, blanket apology. So first up here is this cute little blazer from Pistola. Pistola is a great brand. I haven't sold much of it. I've heard a lot of people do very well with Pistola. I think uh, primarily their jeans. They're sold at like Revolve and stores like that. And this is just a cute little like, this almost feels like a linen rayon blend. It's a really interesting feel, but it's got a very nice drape to it. And it's this white with like a very faint black pinstripe. This is a size small. I'm not quite sure what I'll get on this. Maybe 30 bucks, 30 to $35 on this. Um, very cute, it has like an intentionally uh, raw hem there. I like this vibe, I like this style. So I, this is 100% me picking this up on style <laughs> because that's something that I would like. Next up is this cute shirt from Rails. I love finding Rails. A lot of you have said that you don't do well with them. I do well with certain things. Really these kind of shirts, the gauzy shirts or the flannel shirts move really well for me. This is a size medium, but I just love this like, it's almost like a rainbow stripe. And to me, I mean like, and if anybody else is kind of my age, tell me if you feel this. This has very like granny shirt vibes to me, like realistic 1980s granny shirts. My, I feel like my sweet grandma used to wear shirts that look like this and they were kind of that like pucker material, like kind of seersuckery. Uh, but th that's just like kind of like the warm vibes this gave me. So I was gonna pick this up for that anyway. But it's Rails, like Rails is very expensive. This is probably a over $200, $200 or $250 new. And this does have decent sold comps somewhere in like the 30 to 40 range. So very excited for that. And this is like the perfect time to find something like that. Again, uh, it is, you know, we're getting into spring. So start being very, very judicious with what knitwear you're picking up. You know, it's bulky, you don't want it, you know, you don't have to store it through the summer and start really focusing on those kind of spring summer pieces because they are starting to move big time. Next up, now this was something I pulled because it felt really nice. The tag looked nice and I had never heard of it and I just didn't get to comp it in store. And this is this cute little pair of like tie front bell bottoms from the brand Weekday. And it seems like Weekday is a like 
out of Europe, out of Europe, where did I see this? Um, I want to say it was like Dutch or Swedish or something kind of in that like Northern Europe area. And you know, they're kind of like, um, I guess kind of like a Zara price. I'm not quite sure if they were, I'm sure they would be considered fast fashion, but the quality on this felt really nice and they feel, I mean, I'm pretty sure that they're brand new. They're size 36, which I think is like a size four. Super cute. These are very like festival coated, right? Like this is something that I will put festival, Coachella, stuff like that. Like this is the kind of thing that I would see somebody wearing there or at like a nightclub, you know, kind of like nightclub or, you know, EDM concerts or, or, or a rave, right? Like this kind of has that vibe. I'm not quite sure what I'll get for this. The retail on these was I think around like 60 bucks. So maybe $20 on this. You know, I'm always interested to like learn a little bit about a new brand anyway. And like I said, this did feel very nice and it is a very like trendy piece. So we'll see how this does. Interested to see. Next up here is this cute little top from Love the Label. That is the label right there. Uh, this is a really high-end uh, brand and they make these kind of long boho tiered dresses. This is very much like in the vein. This has a cute little like ladder stitch detail on the ruffles. This probably would have retailed somewhere in the $300 range. It's a size large. It's got a high neck sleeveless with a tie neck and a little kind of split neck here. I'm not quite sure what this will go for, but the things that I'm seeing, like sold comps, I don't, I haven't seen this exact address, but the sold comps from Love the Label are in the like 50 to $100 range. So I'm interested to see how this does. Uh, this was a great find. Definitely like I had never, I had never seen the brand before. I had never like heard of the brand before, but the label looked nice. And of course the quality felt really nice. So I picked it up. And sure enough, when I comped it, it was a very pricey brand. So just, you know, goes to show guys, trust your gut, pick it up, ask questions later. You know, you would, I would regret if I did not pick this up. That was such a great find and it is so the perfect time. And it's a size large. Like, I feel like I never find dresses like this above a size medium. So always really excited to find one in a large. Next up here, this is a beautiful little linen piece from Faithful the Brand. This is a brand you see at Revolve. It's very high-end, very expensive. This is brown linen with a smocked top. What size is this? Another size large. Again, I never find these things in a size. And I mean, I'm in California. You know, I feel like I find more smalls and extra smalls you know, proportionately, that's kind of the trade-off. I find great stuff, but a lot of it is like an extra small. But finding a couple size larges here and I'm loving it. You know, the elastic's in great shape. The smocking is perfect. There's no like popped smocks here. And it's a cropped wide leg jumpsuit. So, so cute. There's pockets, this is beautifully made. This is probably about $250, $260 new. I'm seeing sold comps on similar pieces. I don't see any of this specific piece, you know, again, in that like $40 to $60 range. So I'll be super happy if I get somewhere around there. But you know, it's funny, like I don't ever like to leave behind a one piece moment. For whatever reason, they sell really well for me. Um, any kind of like overalls or jumpsuit or whatever, you know, especially if you can find any athleisure ones, for whatever reason, those go so fast. I'm sure it's just comfort. People love comfort. People love a one piece wonder. So this was a fabulous find. Definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Next up, we have the first of those uh, vintage pieces here. I just thought this was, I mean, this just felt so early 70s to me. This is kind of like a little nylon dress. It's got short sleeves, look at that print. This is clearly coming right off of that, you know, mid-century modern vibe. It's got, you know, a, like a knee length skirt. I think this is handmade. No, this is not handmade, but there's the tag. Lot something size 12. And this will probably translate to a size, just eyeballing that, that's about a size eight in today's, uh, in today's, sizing but it's got a nice little covered zip closure on the back and I mean it's just got that very distinct like vintage zipper. Zipper works beautifully but it is a it has a distinctly vintage feel to it. Perfect condition. This is absolutely perfect condition. It's kind of like it's it's lighter weight right like this is something that would be great for summer. I'm not sure what I'll get on this maybe somewhere around 40 on this piece 
Very, very cool. Like I said, first of a couple pieces that I have coming up in here. Next up, this is a little Zara piece that I just love. This is a cute little like open weave, oversized like grandpa sweater vest. This is one that I would use that kind of eclectic grandpa tag in there as you know, one of the core aesthetics. This is Zara. It has the circle on the label, so it's going to fit a little bit bigger. This is an oversized fit anyway. It's a size medium. This is in perfect condition. I'll probably get somewhere between $25 and $35 on this. Newer tag Zara stuff has been going very fast for me and for a great price. So next up, I got this cute little shirt from Theory. Theory is another super high-end brand. And it's just this like little lightweight cotton, it's like a cotton lawn floral shirt. It's a size small, but it has like a nine on the tag, which is interesting. I do think this is one of the older tags. I think this might be from the 90s, maybe early 2000s, but it's a very classic silhouette. It's just a little button down shirt, very cute. This will go just on style alone. Like these kind of floral button downs move really well for me. It doesn't necessarily matter what the designer is or what the brand is um this is just a style that moves for me but very cute i'll probably get somewhere between 20 and 30 on this next up here this is a very cool piece this is from badgley mishka super high-end designer this i don't think is their top their tippy top line of badgley mishka but they're still very expensive even with this label, you're still looking at two, three, four hundred dollars for a top. This is a size four, and this is, I mean, pure resort wear. Like this has nice sheer sleeves, double lined bodice. Look at the detail there on the sleeves. Do you see that pin tucking? And this is just screaming for a pair of like white jeans and sandals and a cocktail in hand. You know, like that, that's all I see when I see this shirt. This I'll probably, I, I, you know, I've never sold anything with this label. I've sold a couple like Badgley Mishka collection pieces, but never this one. Um, so probably somewhere between 30 and 40 on this, maybe a little bit higher. I have to do a little bit more research into this specific line, but uh, this is one of two Badgley Mishka pieces that I found. Gorgeous, in perfect condition. So next up, now this is an interesting piece. This is from a brand called Darker Waves, and you're not gonna be able to read that because um, <laughs> it looks like a black metal logo. And this is sold on Doll's Kill. Now Doll's Kill is kind of, I'd say like in the same vein as like a mod cloth or a unique vintage, but definitely leans a little bit more towards like the scene type apparel. So this is where you can go and get like goth style clothing. This is where you can go and get like industrial style clothing. You know, this is where you can go and get like nicer rave type clothing. And stuff from there sells really well. And it, you know, it just, it makes sense because there's just a limited amount of places that you can go and buy this kind of attire, right? Like, and it's expensive. It's not a cheap, it's not a cheap company. So this is a little like short sleeve, sweater i believe this is wool it feels very nice but it's intentionally distressed you see that kind of shred right there and it's got a long front again with a little bit of intentional distressing there and a raw hem and it's hooded and cropped it is a size extra small but this will go based on the brand and the style alone again there's just you know just like with mod cloth and unique vintage it's not like a, a white button down shirt that you can get at any one of the millions of stores out there. Like this stuff is just like not made in mass like stuff like that is. So uh, this will be a good quick sell. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'll get for it. I haven't really dove into this particular brand from Dolls Kill. I know some of their brands go like way to the ceiling, but um, probably somewhere between 30 and 40 on this. And again, I don't think that this will last too terribly long, especially with it being short sleeve. Next up, we've got another one of the vintage pieces, and this is actually a two-piecer. So this is an adorable little sheath dress. I'm pretty sure this is silk twill. It feels beautiful. It's in fabulous condition. Like this feels like it's been, you know, maybe hung in a you know, dry cleaner bag for 40, 50 years. So it's a little sheath dress on the back. There's a little kick pleat. This needs to be pressed out, probably dry cleaned. 
um, but it's very cute. It's got a little jewel, oh, a little square neck, short sleeve, zipper works perfectly, and then it has a little matching bolero. <laughs> Isn't this adorable? Again, also in perfect condition. Here's the tag, a Leslie Fay original for blocks. Does anybody know anything about Block Store? Uh, let me know. I just love learning about these kind of regional department stores that uh, that no longer exist. But beautiful condition, elbow length sleeves, little fabric covered buttons all the way down, and every single one is here and in great condition, like well attached still too. Like none of them feel like they're about to fall off. This was such a great find, probably for the two piece set. I wouldn't doubt if I pulled 60 or $70 on this. This feels, you know, this is a very complete set. And I also would not be surprised with it being a complete two-piece set if that ends up going to like a costume shop because this is very much something that could easily be fit into any like period piece. And that always makes me so happy. I love, I love that. And I really love if and when I'm able to spot the things that I find on screen. I've been able to do that a few times with some of my like glasses that I find. It's very exciting. Now, next up, I grabbed this. There's no tag, but I grabbed it and I'm like, that's a Freddy Krueger sweater. <laughs> like, and, and I didn't know, you know, I just like, I'm like, this is a red and green sweater and it's cotton, right? So I'm thinking like, there's no way this is a costume piece because like, you know, anything costume wouldn't be cotton. Well, sure enough, they did release a Nightmare on M Street Freddy Krueger sweater in cotton blend, like literally Nightmare on Elm Street branded. Um, this doesn't have a tag in it, but I'm assuming that's exactly what this is. I still probably get like 20 bucks on this, uh, but most likely that will not happen until October. So totally, you know, sometimes my gut wins and sometimes my gut does not win, but I just thought this was kind of fun. And now I know that there are like relatively high quality replica Freddy Krueger sweaters out there. Now we all know. Next up here, I've got this pair of Athleta joggers, and these are the Salutation joggers in Power Vita, and I believe Salutation is kind of their signature fabric. This is buttery soft. This kind of feels like the Lululemon Aligns. It's in this really pretty, like, dusty mauve color, size medium. This is, I mean, I don't I don't know how well you're gonna be able to read that label in there. Size medium. They've got a little pillage here around along the back seam, which is not uncommon in any kind of brushed surfaces. This is something that could easily have been, this could have easily happened in one car ride, <laughs> you know, like wearing these. So I will, that'll be a quick cleanup and these are otherwise in fabulous condition. Probably, I don't know, 25 or 30 bucks on these. You know, Athleta, Athleta prices are high. These were probably a little over $100 new. Next up now, this I had to get because it just, the quality on this felt so nice. This is a brand new with tags little dress from MM Couture, which turns out is Miss Me Couture. I kind of love this. I love this, like, it's silk. It's all silk. And then all of this, like, kind of stripe work on the front here is stitched on and it's it's kind of like a cotton it's like a rigid cotton it has a really cool effect in person and it's got a built-in lining here which i believe is also silk yeah all is that all yeah that's also silk and it is brand new with tags so it is mm couture by miss me it still has you know the attached extra buttons these were pricey these were pricey new, so I'm not quite sure what I'll get for this. I've never sold an MM Couture piece. I've never really sold anything but their jeans, which are still pretty high in demand. Uh, I don't know, maybe 40 bucks on this? Maybe 30? I'm not quite sure. I'll try to report back on this one because I just, I have no idea. I have no idea how, how this one will do, but it was just too nice and brand new with tags and silk, silk lined. I had to, I had to take a chance on it. For a dollar, I'm glad to do that. Next up, another one of the vintage pieces, and this was the first thing that I got my hands on, and I was so excited thinking that there were more in there, and there were a couple more, and they were in not great shape. But it's this adorable little vintage slip. This is like one of my favorite kind of vintage pieces to find. 
people love vintage slips. So it's got this beautiful lace eyelet trim on the top, of course on the bottom as well, look at that. This is in fantastic condition, probably about a size six on this. Beautiful, beautiful little piece. So excited to find something like this. Next up, I knew what these were as soon as I saw this like waistband. These are Free People Movement leggings. They're size medium large, and this is like such a telltale, like th this is such, this is so unique to Free People Movement, this kind of washed, like almost acid washed finish. But it's got this nice like compression band. The leg itself has like an embossed snake print, which is kind of cool. And a, like a little bit of a jogger bottom. The screen printing is coming off a little bit, both on the inside and on the little berry logo here. So I'm not quite sure what I'll get for this. Maybe like 15 bucks. Um, if this doesn't look like it's going to be something that I'll get a ton for, it's something I'll, I'll gift to a friend of mine who I know loves free people leggings. Free people leggings are like $100, so I'm sure she'll be very happy to get a pair for free, even if the logo is rubbing off a little bit. But definitely keep your eyes out for, I mean, like, like I said, you'll be able to spot that in a bin a million miles away. Because, and it's just, I don't think that there's anybody else out there that really does athletic wear with this kind of finish on it. If there is, let me know down below. Uh, but none that I'm aware of. So next up, this is a piece that I don't do a ton of Nike, but this is Nike Golf in fabulous condition. It's a size large in this kind of like cream color. This is in particular why I picked it up though. I don't, see that like, this looks like a reverse waffle. So like instead of having like the indentation of a waffle, it sticks out and it's fuzzy. And this kind of fabric is like cold weather gear. Like this is, this is like, ounce for ounce, a ton of warmth. And you know, when you're out for 18 holes, like the less bulk you have on you, the better. And this is one of the best ways to kind of keep that warmth. I think it was Patagonia that came out. I think it was like their R1 fabric. I think that's what it was called. They were kind of the first people to do this like reverse weave fabric. And I, I gotta tell you, it's like the warmest base layers I've ever owned. They do have one, line that's a little bit warmer but you would be crazy to wear that at any point unless it's like negative 10 degrees i don't know what that is in celsius i'll put that down below for those of you not in the states but this is a great find i think i'll probably get somewhere between 30 and 40 dollars on this a good nike golf piece does tend to do pretty well for me next up this was an exciting find i've never found this brand of jeans in the bins <laughs> so i was really excited to find it and that is good american I've seen them in the thrift. I've never seen anything that wasn't like a skinny jean in the thrift. So I'm excited to find this. These are kind of, I think these are cropped length. They're straight leg. I think this is like the 90s icon straight, something like that. They're in great shape. They're a size two slash 26. Um, again, in fabulous condition. I love this waistband. The quality of the denim feels really nice. This feels, yeah, this is rigid. It doesn't feel like there's any stretch to it, which I love. I know I'm an anomaly here, but you know, if you haven't worn rigid jeans for a while, like treat yourself and get a pair because they will mold to your body. And to me, they will be more comfortable than anything stretch. Stretch jeans, for me, they tend to start to slide down. They stretch out through the day. Now, rigid jeans will do that, but if you've done it right and you don't wash them all too often, so you're not like constantly stretching them out and kind of shrinking them in with a with your wash they will just mold to your body and be the most comfortable things in the world um, i urge you to try if you haven't done it in years but i love this i'm not quite sure what this it's very very model dependent in good american but probably safely 30 to 40 bucks on these Good American jeans are like $160. They're very expensive and for good reason. They're beautifully made. I am definitely one of those people that like, I don't care what the jeans cost. If they fit me right, I'm gonna pay it. I used to do the cheaper, like I would buy these because they were $20 or $30 and they never fit me quite right. And I, would, I ended up with 30 pairs of like, eh, jeans in my closet. And now I just have like, three pairs of jeans that I wear all the time. Yes, they're more expensive, but I wear them and I feel great in them. So like, 
spend the money on the right jeans is what I'm saying. And all the better if you know what size you are in something like a good American and you can find them secondhand. Now next up, this is another label I don't see all that often in the bins. And there is a little bit of damage on here and I'm not sure if it's intentional, but that is John Varvatos. Mm -hmm. And John Varvatos is a super high-end men's designer and the whole vibe is rock and roll, right? Like, if you look closely, the little stud on the pocket is a skull. This is a very kind of like rocker fit. This is a size 36R. And if you see here, like the little pocket is kind of lifted up. I don't, again, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but I don't think that that's necessarily going to like prevent this from selling to somebody who loves John Barbados because like he's known to have these exceptionally distressed pieces. And, and here's a kind of a cool fact about John Barbados. Again, all about rock and roll. Like that is very much his vibe and he's so committed to it that when CBGB, the legendary punk club in New York, closed down, which any of us who worked in the music industry are still mourning slash celebrating those bathrooms. I'm very happy that I've been to the bathrooms. I'm also disgusted that I've been to the bathrooms, but they are such a cultural like icon that I'm, I'm happy that I was there in person. But when CBGB closed down, uh, John Varvatos was who moved into the space and he kept the awning, like the awning's gone, the awning has been sold to collectors, I believe, collectors own it now, but when he made the awning for the shop, uh, he kept the same shape. Like he really paid a lot of homage to CBGB in his store. Um, so anyway, just a brand to be on the lookout for if you can ever find one of the leather jackets, like the leather jackets are super sought after. And they're the kind of things that just get better with wear. Same thing with their pants. Like this feels so nice. I do think these are a little bit older, but again, you know, people who love John Varvato's pants, like that's all they wear. So great find. And in a hard left turn here, the next piece I have is a little billabong dress. Super cute, that's the back. Little billabong dress in this little red floral print, nice kind of like peasant sleeves. What size is this? Size large, love to find it. Billabong dresses have been selling really, really fast for me. Red is also, you know, the color of the moment right now. So glad to pick this guy up. I'll probably get somewhere between 20 and 30 bucks on this. Uh, like I said, the Billabong pieces have been selling pretty quick for me, specifically Billabong. I don't really pick up any other surf brands. They haven't sold super well for me in the past. And I'm, you know, just kind of always nervous about picking them up. But Billabong has proven itself to me and uh, we are right on the cusp of summer. Glad to get that. Next up, now this is a brand that used to do a heck of a lot better than it does now, um, but this is, I think, still sold at Revolve. That's Young, Fabulous, and Broke. I will say, despite the fact that it doesn't sell for as much as it used to, like the quality is still there, it's still fantastic. This is just a little gray, kind of bodycon tank dress. The quality it's a size medium, it's gray, it's got like a little curved hem there, midi length, super cute, super sexy, but super comfy, very much a one piece wonder. Again, size medium, super happy to find this. I'll probably get 30 to $35 on this. It's in fantastic shape. Yeah, it's a cotton modal blend, so the fabric is very, very nice, very soft. And it's kind of like a whisper light gray really nice find definitely a brand to be on the lookout for but don't go paying like back in the day i i would tell you to pick up that for ten dollars no problem or fifteen dollars no problem um you know don't go spending crazy money on young fabulous and broke but if you're finding it at the right price at the bins or for four or five bucks like go for it next up now this was an interesting thing i grabbed this because the quality was really nice and the tag looked really nice and it's from tulum uh, which is, you know, where it's like the trendy place in Mexico. And this is from Fonto Tulum, which I'm assuming is a local designer. I did find the brand. This is actually a men's shirt. And it's just like a little shredded kind of poncho. I, I initially thought that this was like a swim cover up for women. It is not. This is a men's shirt. And they go for like $250 new. I have 
zero clue as to what this will go for on the resale market. So I'll try to keep you posted if and when this does sell. Um, again, the quality is really nice. The cotton's really nice. It's in fabulous shape. Uh, so I took a chance on it. We will all find out together. <laughs> I have no idea. It's definitely an interesting piece. And if there's ever a time to sell it, it's right now. Making our way through here, guys. This is a great little find. These are a cute little pair of Show Me Your Moo Moo shorts. Cute little tie-dyed pocket shorts, 100% cotton gauze. These kind of shorts from Show Me Your Moo Moo sell really well for me. Um, I've heard the opposite for some people, but the shorts sell well for me. I'll probably get, I mean, they're, they're not, you know, I'm not getting $60 for them. I'll probably get somewhere between 20 and 25, but this will sell pretty quickly. Size medium, cute little like pink and white tie-dye. Again, we're right on the cusp of spring summer. This will be a great quick sell. All right, next up here, we've got a great little Zara linen kind of cropped button down shirt. I love finding these. These are always really quick sales for me. Get that button so you can see the whole picture. It's just like a little khaki colored, slightly cropped, like this isn't the kind of crop that's actually gonna show midriff if you're wearing a high enough pair of pants. Size extra large, love to find it, great shape. Just needs a little bit, you know, like a, a bath and a steam. Um, I'll probably get 30, $35 on this. I do love finding extra large pieces in, uh, in from Zara. I wish this was black because I would be keeping that. 100%, very, very cute. I, I kind of say like I'm impressed with Zara's linen pieces. They're pretty nice. Next up here, this is a little piece from Joie, which has slowed down quite a bit. This is still a very expensive brand, but I almost never find pieces like this anymore from Joie. This is a size small, but it's this cute little like boho top, it's a little blousey oversized fit, little split neck there, kind of peasant style sleeves. Elastic's nice in the cuffs there. 100% silk. This is probably a $300 shirt. Like, Joie is like surprisingly expensive. But I'll probably get 30 to $35 on this. And I think that this will sell pretty quickly for a Joie piece. A lot of them more, like the sleeveless pieces that I have, they've been sitting. Uh, but something like this I don't find often, and anything I have had like this has moved pretty quickly. So we'll find out, uh, but very cute. Next up, <laughs> now I grabbed this kind of last minute. I wasn't sure what it was, and I remember seeing some collab pieces like that had gone very viral. But this is just a little pair of like Ivy Park leggings. They're kind of base layer-ish almost. They're like cottony. They don't feel like uh, like spandexy. They, they feel cottony. This is a size small, I believe. Extra small. They're made in Turkey, so good quality cotton. But uh, again, really nice quality, and they do have the logo down the leg. Maybe 15 bucks on these? I'm not quite sure. Never picked up a piece before. Like I said, I kind of grabbed this in haste, so we'll find out together. The logo here is also pretty cracked. I actually found these inside out. I didn't realize that this was here until I got it home. So uh, shame on me. We'll find out. I might not be able to sell those at all, but now we know. Next up, now I grabbed these and these just scream quality to me. Uh, they're very interesting. <laughs> this is a pair of kind of patchwork camouflage shorts and all this stuff is like hand stitched on and then on the back it's got patches as well and the thing is these are actual like these are these are real fatigues these are like you, do you see the way that the seat is on this these are real fatigues these are like repurposed clothing and this is from a brand called riley Look at that tag, like that tag is so nice. This tag is so nice. And I think the brand is Riley 1880. I think that's actually the name of the brand. These go for like $250 new. Again, they're, and they are, they're repurposed. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Upcycled clothing. And these are, you know, formerly men's uh, pants. What size are these? Size medium, I have no clue what I'll get for them, but the quality was so nice that I had to grab it and take a chance on it. Um, 40 bucks, maybe? We'll find out. 
like I said, I, you know, so, I mean, of course, these pants are made for guys in the military that are doing like hard physical work. So they're made to last. And then again, like the hand done detailing on it is very nice. So we'll find out. I have no clue. I've never found this brown before. I'd never heard of this brand until I picked it up, but um, I'll try to report back on how these do. I don't know how often we'll find them in the bins. I don't know. Has anybody else out there ever found a pair of Riley shorts? Let me know. I'm very interested. I'm very interested in how those do. Next up, and I think this is the last of the vintage pieces. There might be one more. I can't remember. Um, but this, I love this. This is a little cotton kind of shirt waist dress. Look at this collar. Look at the pleat detail on this collar and the lace. This is in fabulous condition. Look at the look at the knife pleats here on the waist. You know, once it's like pressed out, this is just going to be lovely. It's button front all the way down. Every single button is present and accounted for in great shape, still attached really well. This is just a beautiful find. I'm going to say that this is probably about a size six. It's even got like a little snap here at the waist. And the snap is in, is like beautifully still attached. So this might also be handmade. Sleeveless, and I love this little mint green style. Again, probably 40 bucks on this, give or take a little bit. I'm not quite sure, but I can't wait to get this like pressed out and looking great. Like this is, I can't believe these finds. I'm so happy I went back to look in that last bin. Next up, I've got a little Free People Movement sports bra here. This is like, this feels heavy duty. And I'm not quite sure if this is actually a sports bra or if this is like a fashion piece or one of the ones that's like in between, but it is red. We know that red is like the color of the moment right now. It's got this kind of top bar back and it's open. What size is this? Size large. Uh, which I almost never find in their bras. And like, it's got kind of a corset style bodice there. Do you see that seaming? I don't know how well that's showing up on the camera. So I'm not quite sure what I'll get for this. These typically new go for like 50 to 60. And I think this is probably one of the ones that would be a little bit more pricey just because of the build, like in the, like the amount of pieces and amount of piecework done for this. So, 20 to 30. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I've never seen this before in my life. I'm going to have to see if I can find some actual identical sold comps on that. Next up, this cute little torrid piece. This is so pretty and I'm going to have to hold this in a specific way so you can like get the vision. It's size four, which I believe is a four X in torrid. And that's the front of it. Can you see that? Can you see that? Like this is all straps up front here. I don't know how well that, oh, there you go. Yeah, you can absolutely see that. So that's all straps and that, and then like the bodice of this starts right here. Super cute, in perfect condition, probably 25 to 30 on this. Like I said, perfect condition. It is, it is gonna be a little bit limited just because the entire front is that strappiness. So wearing a bra underneath is going to be a little bit tough. You know, you would probably have to do boob tape or wear something that is like intended to be seen underneath. But otherwise, very, very cute. Next up, I thought these were so cute. This is from The Great. And I only recently learned about this brand. It is founded by the people, um, the people who founded Current Elliot, like the two designers, Current and Elliot. And these, these cute little, like just fatigue longer shorts cut off and these little flowers are hand painted they're like this is not machine done these are like hand stamped on the shorts and they're size 31 which i love to find they're not you know not super tiny so the great is very expensive these were probably well over a hundred dollars new like their t-shirts are a hundred dollars so these were probably close to 200 I'm not quite sure what I'll get for them on the resale market, but other, I haven't seen like this specific one, but other ones I've seen have gone for like 45 to $50. So I'm never gonna bank on anything that high, maybe 30, but um, this was a great find and for sure a brand to keep your eyes out for. If you've ever found it before, let me know. Cause I'm definitely falling in love with the stuff. The stuff that I found has just been so nice 
and the styling is really really lovely yeah it's a great find here so cute I don't think that those will last those are like very unique I think they're so cute. Next up here, now I don't do a ton of kids stuff. We talk about this all the time, but I do pick up Mini Bowden when I find it. I think these are brand new with tags. Look at how adorable these little sweatpants are. They have like little sew stitched on heart and flowers. They're in great shape. These will go 20, 25 bucks, I think all day. And they'll sell quick. Like anything I've ever had that's Mini Bowden has sold very quick. And it's, I, again, usually I'm picking up something that's like bright and vivid, kind of like this. Very, very cute. And we're down to two or three pieces. And this is another little kid's piece. And I've got to say, like, I picked this up. I have no idea who this brand is. It's Nicola, Nicola Bathy for Antonio Milani. And this is, of course, brand new with tags, as you are seeing. The quality on this is unbelievable. Again, I'm seeing like full, full tags here is their price. $62, the Edge Hill collection. This is like a little, I think it's a little 12 month, a little 12 month dress. So cute. I mean, 25 bucks on this maybe? I think when I tried to dig this up, it looks like Nicola Bathy does some mommy and me dresses so i'm assuming that this was kind of like a mommy and me set but i mean absolutely adorable still has the little blue of course this is brand new with tags still has the cute little bloomers with little ruffles so adorable i might give this to my friend who's got a little baby girl it's just the cutest cutest thing in the whole world like i just want to eat her cheeks um but so adorable and god the, really the cotton on this is so lovely the quality on this is so lovely. Keep your eyes out. If you've ever found that before, let me know. Next up, this is a little Victoria's Secret piece. Again, I'm really only picking up silk pieces. And this is a little romper. I've never picked up a romper before, but I'm interested to see how it does. This is a size medium, 100% silk, cute little floral, short romper. Great shape. I mean, I I'd be surprised if this was ever worn. Like this really doesn't feel like it was ever worn. But you know, 25, 30 bucks on this? I'll report back again. I've only found like the little dresses tend to go really quick. The shirts go really quick for me, but I've never picked up the romper, but it is 100% silk. So we're taking a chance on this. Very, very cute. And I love like, if you see the trim on that, this trim here is like a crinkle gorget. Like it's a completely different fabric. Very cute. The tower's getting a little tall behind me. Next up, now this one, I had never heard of the brand before, but the quality was really nice. And this is Beulah, Beulah style. When I looked this up, it seems that it's a really high-end brand, but I just thought this was so pretty. It's got kind of a split front there and it's like a hammered satin and it's got these beautiful like wide lace sleeves. Let me get that like in front of something light so you can see it with kind of a like a peaked edge there. Do you see how that's not like flat across? Uh, it's really beautiful. I have no idea what I'll get for this. I Again, I'd never heard of the brand before in my life. I looked it up. It seems to be very high end. So we'll see 25, 35 bucks on this. Really, really pretty. It is a size medium. So cute. I think we're down to two more. And this one, I just, <laughs> this is, this just brings me joy. Whoever gets this, like, you gotta be a special person to wear this dress, but I think this will bring somebody a ton of joy. This is another Badgley Mishka. There's a tag there. It is a size two, but it is this, like, first of all, the sleeves, double layer lace. This is like a kind of a, almost like a corally red. It is ruffled all the way down in lace. This is like perfect condition. Look at this little like brooch. It's got ostrich feathers and uh, like little silk pieces. It is, this is just so lovely. This was probably a good, you know, seven or $800 dress new. I have zero concept what this will go for. You know, maybe it is a very specialized dress. You know, this isn't a dress for everybody. This isn't your classic little black dress for sure. This dress is for somebody who wants to walk into a party and make a scene. But again, maybe 40 or 50 bucks on this. So, so adorable. 
I hope whoever gets this. So this is the kind of dress that will wear a person if they don't have the personality to pull this off. I, I cannot wait to see who picks this up. Oh, and it's all pleated. Like all that lace is pleated all the way down. Oh, I lied. I have one more vintage piece. This is something that I've picked up these kind of pieces a couple times over the years and they always sell super quick. This is a vintage little undershirt. Little pleat detail and lace detail. This is in fabulous condition. It's from Barbizon, which just always reminds me. Do you remember the Barbizon, the ads in the back of the, uh, the back of the magazines for Barbizon Modeling School? I wonder if it's the same brand, who knows? Could be the same, like, family. But very, very cute. You can see that this has been, like, hand-shortened for somebody, so whoever buys it, if they have kind of a taller set of shoulders, they can let that out. But very cute. Again, fabulous condition. I think this is a size medium, but I think that this will fit a size small a little bit better, but very cute. Love finding those. And finally, now this was a dress. I just, I felt a little bit of the fabric and I'm like, oh, that's silk for sure. And the fabric literally, like, let me show you how long these ties are. Literally just kept coming and coming and coming out of the bins. So this is a dress from a brand called Gypsy Five. And I remember Gypsy Five, I had a dress from them that was very expensive. I remember saving up to get it. They were really the toast of the town. They made these kind of like cotton tie-dye dresses. But this is brand new with tags. And where's the tag here? Yeah, that's brand new with tags. Original price, $435. And it is strapless. And you can see the back kind of has that strap across the back. This is, I think, a size large? Size medium, made in Hollywood. I'm not quite sure if they're still in business. I'll have to, I'll have to look up, but this tie then wraps around and kind of creates a waist. I'm sure you can also like wrap it around and put it up over your neck if you want a little bit of support in that way, if you don't want to wear it strapless. But it is kind of like a handkerchief hem bottom beautiful again this is brand new condition it's kind of like an ombre too do you see how that goes from like dark to light to dark i have zero concept what i'll get for this i think i sold my mine a couple years back and i want to say i got 40 or 50 dollars for it I, I think i paid close to 200 for it but it was not silk and it was definitely tie-dyed so it was a little bit more kind of dated, I guess, than something like this. This is just like a little kind of floral print. Zero idea, but this is like the ultimate beach dress. Like I, you know, it's just floaty, light as a feather, silk, beautifully made, beautiful fabric. <laughs> I'm telling these straps just, I kept pulling. I'm like, oh my God, do these ever end? You know, maybe somewhere, somewhere between 50 and hundred bucks, maybe? I don't know, maybe a little bit less. I have no clue. I am like, I'm making a, bold face guess out of that. So uh, just a really cool find though. I was excited to find that. Like I really brought me right back to like really just like lusting after that dress. But that is it guys. That is the haul for today. Super fun. So many great little vintage pieces. Like again, I just, I'm so happy I peeked into that last bin and pulled out those treasures. Like I was so excited to find them. But for all you numbers nerds out there, there were 39 pieces. I just tallied them up, 39 total. And the retail value on everything was about $6,000. Now, obviously, we're not factoring in necessarily the vintage pieces because that's hard to like get a base value on. But $6,000, 39 pieces. And I'm anticipating sales somewhere between $1,200 and $1,300 on these, which will bring me to a profit of around $1,000. With a $39 investment, that brought me to 12 25.6x return on investment, which I'm super, super pleased with. But what was your favorite piece from today? I mean, for me, I think um, either between the vintage slip or the little teal vintage piece here, the little shirt waist. I'm also really excited about that love the label dress. Uh, just a lot of really great finds this week. It was, I was there for a long time. It was a little bit, you know, more slim pickings than usual, but I'm glad I stayed. I'm glad I looked in that last bin. But thank you guys so much for hanging with me while I go through my haul. I always have so much fun doing this. If you guys had fun, don't forget to hit like. That really helps me out with YouTube. Of course, subscribe. I want you with me on this journey. But without further ado, guys, have the most incredible week. Happy hunting, and I will see you 
in the next one.